Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle and today I'm going to be talking about ENFPs and the relationship that we have to introverted thinking because I think it's important to hear from the horse's mouth and I've been told that my face is a little horse-like so you know I take that as a compliment because horses are my favorite animals. So from the horse's mouth both literally and figuratively. Let's talk about introverted thinking and the relationship that ENFPs have with it. I often deal with the struggle of not having very much TI and it has been the bane of my existence since being a child. So, okay cat. Okay, my cat just like straight up walked through the tripod so I'm gonna hold her. Um, and I'm also going to apologize right now for any background noise. I'm out in my backyard because it's literally a beautiful day. It's like 75 maybe. And my neighbor is using the sprinkler right now because we haven't gotten rain in a few days. And his yard is dying so he wants to, you know, let his plants live. So he's doing that. So those background noises are gonna stay probably through the duration of this video. But, you can say hi to my kitty. Hi kitty. We had to make her an outdoor cat because she just was not doing well in the house. She was misbehaving. So we have put her outdoors and boy has it been a great transition for all of us. She likes the outdoors, we like her out of the doors. You know what I'm saying? That didn't work as perfectly as it did in my mind, but you get what I'm saying. Anyway, to the topic at hand, introverted thinking. I'm tiptoeing around this because it is a, it is an uncomfortable conversation to have. The conversation around introverted thinking. You might notice, some of you who have been following me for a while, that I started a series about socionics comparing it to MBTI and I was doing all the cognitive functions and I was doing well. I did three. And then I got to introverted thinking and I gave up. <laughs> uh, this is a regular pattern. My friend and I are working on a book about how to use personalities for, uh, for writing characters and we're talking about the cognitive functions and guess which function I gave up with halfway through writing and then just moved on to the next one. Introverted thinking, yes you guessed it! <laughs> uh, and it, the thing is, I don't fully understand it. I don't fully understand the purpose of it. Well, I, I kind of do. I don't understand how it works because it's so far away from how my mind works. And I don't really care to do it that much. However, um, I do think that for all ENFPs and ESFPs, it's a really good idea to push yourself to be around people who have introverted thinking because by being around them and the way that they think being kind of forced upon you in a way. And no, you guys that are friends with me and have TI, you're not forcing your TI on me. But you're forcing me to use more TI just by proxy. I'm having to use my logic internally and form it internally by having conversations with you. I'm learning how to debate and how to stand up for these things that I think and how to even decide what it is that I think. It's already hard enough to decide how I feel or understand how I feel, let alone how I think. So that is definitely a struggle. Because the thing is, ENFPs, we like our extroverted thinking. We like to have things, you know, make sense, have a practical application. We don't care if they're perfect or 100% logical that you know, we understand the concept so fully that we are the master of the concept. ENFPs, we're not naturally the kind of people who want to be the masters or the most fully understanding of concepts. We want to use concepts. We want to use the ideas that we have in our head and make something happen with them. And TI isn't really about making things happen with our ideas. It's more like how to understand the ideas. And we don't really care too much about it. Someone even said, I think it was Curtis, who's been on my channel before, 
previously typed an ISTJ, now he says that he's an ESFJ. It's his, his typing, I don't know which I believe, because I could see either. Um, and that's another thing. As an ENFP, we see so much on every side of a situation that it's hard to know which one's right. And that is such a frustration because people are like, what do you think? Which do you think is more accurate? Which do you think is right? And our only source to determine that is, is it practical? Does it work? And do I like it? And those two aren't exactly the most logical decision-making factors for thinking if something is accurate or correct. Did it work? Do I like it? It's good enough. And that is how our mind works. Do I like it? Does it work? It's good enough. And like with typing, I think is very difficult for an ENFP because it requires really understanding the concepts and really understanding how they work and being able to logically test things uh, to determine their accuracy and accuracy is just not something that we care about or put a whole lot of energy into. The thing is, we don't, we don't not care about it, but we don't care about it, if you know what I'm saying. Like, it's not a high priority. Like, we, we think it's good to be accurate. We love people who are accurate. I don't know about other ENFPs, but I love INFJs, and INFJs ooze TI a lot of times. It's just covered with a nice film of FE. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, I know that I've been neglecting to talk about this, but some of you may be watching right now and are like, <laughs> what is TI? What is all this lingo that you're using? So I'm gonna briefly explain my understanding of TI as best as I possibly can, but let's just be honest, it's not gonna be the best explanation. The wind is blowing, I'm not sure if the sound is gonna have some kind of like crackly situation which would be pretty fitting for when I'm trying to describe introverted thinking. But introverted thinking is wanting to understand how things work and the accuracy of them. So they, they take two ideas and they compare them and they say which one is more accurate than the other. It's a gauge. Which is more accurate than the other? And it's an internal subjective gauge. And now the thing is, extroverted thinking is quite the opposite. Extroverted thinking is, does it work? Does it function? Does it do what it's intending to do? And uh, extroverted thinking also refers to other people a lot. So is this what everyone else agrees with is accurate? Then that's accurate. That's all I need to know because the system works. The accuracy system works. And that's what makes ENFPs so good at school. I think many ENFPs probably do really well in school because we learn quickly and we like TE. We like being told what it is and just having to regurgitate it. Now, if it's boring, we're not gonna learn. So if the class is interesting, yes, we'll do well. So I guess there's a caveat that ENFPs will only really do as well as they are interested in the subject. So that's a whole another conversation but finally I wanted to address friends and family of those who have an ENFP in their life one of the most stressful questions you can ask us is which do you think is more accurate <laughs> who do you think is right because we're gonna have to immediately defer to our feelings and to does it work does it work do I like it that is how we will determine if it's accurate. And it's so stressful when people ask you, how did you come to this conclusion? How did you decide that's what you think? And we're not putting conscious effort into that kind of decision making. It's kind of just like majority rules. I see, you know, 20,000 people do this. 500 don't, so, you know, that majority rules means it's probably pretty darn accurate. Now, because we have any, we might not fully believe in anything. I mean, that's another problem I have. I don't believe that there is such a thing as an absolute truth. I think that it is an interesting thing to think about, 
but I think that you're always going to be inaccurate if you're using words to describe anything that you want to be an absolute truth. There's always exceptions to anything, and so how could you ever know the truth? And now, every TI user is saying, oh, um, actually, like, TI is um, actually, like, just high TI users are the ones who say, um, actually, <laughs> especially in my imagination and INTP, no hate, I love INTPs. I think my coworker that I am getting pretty close to, I think he's an INTP. I told him that that's what I think his type is. He Googled it and he's like, oh, Albert Einstein? Like, that's cool, you can call me an INTP. <laughs> Cause I was like, I hope this doesn't creep you out that uh, I'm psychoanalyzing you. <laughs> Cause we were talking about science and technology and the implications of integration between humanity and technology as opposed to separating the process and you know it was just some philosophical talk that you don't really get a whole lot of with normal co-workers but finally if you know an ENFP or an ESFP it is stressful for us to have to answer TI kind of questions so please don't expect much for those kind of questions if you want to know you know, what we like, what we want to do, how we want to solve a problem, you know, what we think is the best problem, or best solution. That is our dig. That is what we can do. We can solve problems, we can give you solutions, but do not ask us how or why those solutions are gonna work. Well, I mean, we can explain how they're gonna work, you know, outcome focus. My kitty doesn't want to stay still. I, you know, this video is just showing me it's very hard to describe TI for me. And, you know, TI is just a struggle. So be nice to your ENFP and ESFP friends because TI is a struggle. Those of you who are ENFPs and ESFPs, put more TI users in your life because it'll be a really good thing for you to have people around you who use high TI It'll help make you a more well-rounded person that can keep up with debates to some capacity. I still am not very good and I've been working on it for a while now. But anyway, thanks so much for watching everybody. Thanks for dealing with me trying to articulate what I believe about TI, which is a very difficult subject for me. And leave down in the comments what you think about TI and you know what your relationship is with introverted thinking and thanks so much for watching I hope you have a beautiful amazing fantastic day don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time bye